everybody and welcome to Stamping with Ian. You can find me on my blog at stampingwithian.blogspot.co.uk and on various bits of social media, Facebook, Twitter, etc, etc. Okay, today we're going to make this. I've been meaning to do this video for a few days now. Uh, I originally made uh, this one, like a Tombow glue holder, and uh, a couple of other demonstrators have made one that holds three, so I thought I'd make one that made two. The idea came from uh, Michel Vogel, and is a wonderful idea. Uh, you don't have to just use this for Tombow, I, I guess it could be used for anything round. It's kind of short so it doesn't tip over, you know, but yeah, but really easy project. Let's get started. First of all, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is 8 inches by 6 and one seven one eighth or is it seven eighths? <laughs> I'm gonna go for six and seven eighths. So, <laughs> oh dear. So we do the we do the eight inch side first. So that just means taking a bit off this piece of uh, A4. Like that. And then let's bring it more into shot. There we go. And taking this to six and seven eighths and cut. Right, put a piece of card to one side. Now we have some scoring to do. So, getting rid of the cutting blade on the long side, the eight inch side, we're going to score it at one and seven eighths. Three and three quarters, five and five eighths, and seven and a half. There we go. Uh, this bit here will be the bit that we glue uh, at a later stage. Right, so the next step is we need our GIF bag maker. Which is here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to score two horizontal lines on the six and seven eighths edge. So just putting it in there, making sure my head's not in the way. And we just score along like that. And on the other side too. Careful not to go too far along and uh, make a hole. I've done that before. Okay, so Punching <clears throat> is the next step. So you see, so we line up with the, with the first line here, make sure that's lined up, and we punch like that. Then we put the score mark there, the little pointer thing, you put it in the middle of your score mark, and you press. And you do this with the other score lines, like so. Okay. Turning your card over, again, putting the notch 
along the score line. Okay, I think we're done with that. So I've just dropped it on the floor. The beauty of live recording. Right, so this is our base. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our paper snips and we're going to cut off these two ends here. So just make a nice little di diagonal up to there, like so. The next step is to fold and burnish. So the easy way of doing this is to fold it like that, and you can do all four at the same time. Same with this. This side, okay, and then we burnish the, the sides here. Okay, we're doing well. Taking your one and a half in one and a quarter inch circle punch, we're going to make two holes in this piece here next to the uh, the flap. Okay, so I'll kind of put it. I kind of line up next to there. On there. And do the same this side. And we have our holes. Right, adhesive. I'm going to use some uh, fast fuse on this uh, for speed. You can use any adhesive you'd like. You know, wet glue, glue gun, you know, go nuts, tape. <laughs> So, just run some down there. I love my fast fuse. I'm so sad it's retiring. It took me a while to get into, to get used to it, but now I just love it, you know. <laughs> just fold it over. There we go. Right. These two sides, uh, th there's our top, so this side and this side, we need some DSP on. I'm doing it now before I make it into a box, because it, it just it is easier that way, uh, if I'm honest. So this is Lemon Lime Twist. I'm going for another colour. This is uh, Fresh Fig. So I'm going to need two pieces. my ruler that's four and just over four and a quarter no it isn't <laughs> yes it is no, it's just under four and a quarter so if I make four inch that way and one and three quarters that way so four by one and three quarters. Yes, that fits quite nicely. 
So, two of those. One three quarters. And uh, I'm going to need something for the ends, as these ends as well. So, that's going to be a square. So if I do something one and one and three quarters square, what well, that will do that. So if I just do one and three quarters here in this piece, and then one and three quarters here. That's all my DSP bits. So, don't need the trimmer. Fast fuse on these two bits. Fast fuse overruns, just throw it with your finger and get it off that way. Okay, just that all the way. No, just seems a bit more on the end. Here, my raving about a fast fuse, and I've. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, so just put that down, make sure it's roughly level. Okay, that one, and this one. Right, okay, now for the ends. That's, that's going to be the front. So put those two in. Put some fast fuse on the end there. Hoping, hoping you can see this, and you can, and you can use the hole with your finger, just to attach that so it's square, or reasonably square, and then do the same on this piece. Making square boxes is not my forte. Absolutely not. <laughs> I seem to have a kind of a blind spot. <clears throat> okay, so just need to add some DSP to there. There's our two pieces. Okay. Just, we won't throw the box around. <laughs> Just put those on there. Nice and square. Lovely. And square again. It's not quite it's a little closer to there. Okay, and there we go. A two tombow glue holder. Or anything else you want. Okay everybody, thank you so much for watching. This has been Stamping Within at stampingwithin.blogspot.co.uk Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.